I'm not even going to pretend to try to find the positives in today's day of cricket. I would have preferred to spend the day stuck in the elevator with Michael Vaughan. I could have had more respect carrying Mark Nicholas's bags. Apparently Australia's attack is made of bubble bath. England batted out the first two sessions like a glacial melt before finally having a munt when the match was already dead and leaking maggots. And then there's Ian Bell. A couple of years ago, when the Indian side sportingly withdrew a run-out appeal against him, he had this inspiring quote. According to the rules, then yes, I was out, but I think the end decision was right for the spirit of the game and the way both teams handled the situation was fantastic. So with the spirit of the game firmly in mind, he smacks a catch straight to the bloke at gully. Steve Smith stands up, confirms he's caught it with the kind of muted celebration that you have when you're getting comprehensively flogged, and then just gets ignored. Because a la Shane Watson, Ian Bell decided that he'd rather just keep on batting if it's all the same to you. And because it's equal opportunity day in the third umpire's box for the visually impaired, he's allowed to do just that. If you wanted the official Cricket Australia response, it was fresh and frank. No media jargon under Darren Lehman. So a quick recap for those who are puzzled. The laws of the game now apparently say the striker is out court if a ball delivered by the bowler touches his bat and is subsequently held by a fielder, unless that is it carries to first slip, or also to the gully, and maybe some other ones that we'll add later, especially if the batsman is an absolute pillock. Now I'm sure those watching can list all of the instances of Australian players doing similar things. Enjoy that. But Ian, if there's ever a time when you can afford a bit of sportsmanship, it's probably when you're about 700 runs up on the first innings and you personally already have a ton in the first dig. If I left you alone in a room with two pieces of cake, I'm pretty sure I know how many would be there when I got back. <laughs>